All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are here at the dealership. It is raining, it is pouring, but we're still looking for some Tundras. Looks like they have two used Tundras here. We've seen both of them already, but we'll check them out again. This one finally has a price on it. And then after this, we're gonna shoot over to the Kia dealership uh, because they have a pretty unique Tundra that I've never seen before up close. So we'll check that out next, but there's just a major shortage of Tundras right now around here, no new ones. So this one last week didn't have a sticker on it. Um, I guess they were still waiting for the financing to end, but this is your TRD Off-Road SR5. You know the deal by now. Big old pinstripe, mad gray. It's a good looking truck. Got the drop-in bed liner here. Looking forward to seeing the price on this. There's tints on the front window. So this is $41,000, 29,000 miles on it to 2018. So the prices are still up on these used vehicles. We know that. Good looking truck, like I said. Uh, it's got the color keyed bumpers in the back. It's got the blind spot monitoring and the parking sensors. It is an SR5, so that is available on the SR5, blind spot monitoring and parking sensors. Here's a question for you. Isn't it crazy that you can get blind spot monitoring, parking sensors and all that, and the sonar up front for your uh, front bumper parking and all that, but you can't get it on the TRD Pro? Kind of blows my mind, but a good looking truck. And like I said, at certain angles, I think the double cab looks better than the Crew Max. Um, this is definitely one of those angles. Great looking truck. Now that window back there on limited and up is automatic. And it is a slider, a manual slider if you get the SR5. So that you would have to go and reach into the back and move yourself. TRD off-road package gives you these awesome wheels. Bill Steens, you see them in there, they're blue. And like I always say, 5.7 liter V8 all the way up through the range. I don't care if it's raining, we're still going to take a walk over here. I don't know if the lens is getting wet, by the way, so please excuse me for that. We're going to go check out this white one on the ramp. As far as new ton or excuse me, new Toyotas go right now, at least Toyota trucks, it seems like the Tacoma is just fine. There's no issues with the Tacoma whatsoever because I just drove by, and even before we leave, I'll drive by it again. Uh, I don't know, six or seven brand new ones. There's used Tacomas all over the place, but just no Tundras. So every Saturday before I come out on a Sunday, I'll always check the local lots to see what they have before I go driving to them. And the reason we're at my local dealers today is because of the rain. But also the other one we always go to, Lakewood, has one new one now, which is that limited TRD, which we've filmed a few times. And they still have some of the use, so maybe next week or the week after we'll go back there. Hoping for a couple to come in at one of these dealers. So I can't really get up and around on this truck. You will see a price come up. Of course, you know the deal by now. White TRD Off-Road. This has been here a while. I wonder why. Because everything else seems to sell very, very quickly. This doesn't have the blind spot monitoring or the parking sensors. We'll go around the side, around the front, to see what it looks like. Thankfully, the rain kind of took a break here, but once again, I hope you're not seeing drips on the lens. If you are, I apologize. Still out here just trying to make a video for you guys. Okay, another question in the comments, please. Let me know what you think. What do you think of white on the Tundra? I think in certain packages, white is awesome. This looks good because it has a lot of black accenting on it. I'm a fan. But the Crew Max, got that sweet grill up front. I love that grill. Toyota Safety Sense all the way through. SR all the way up to the top, TRD Pro. Good shot of the wheels there. Good looking truck. If the rumors are true and the 5.7 V8 goes away, the big question is, will the 5.7 V8 Tundras be worth a lot? And that's going to remain a question until we actually see those engines go away. But if I had to guess, if you guys were making me guess on that one, I say absolutely. I think the 5.7s will be sought after. There's still a lot of love for the V8 engine. And although like emission standards and the EPA and stuff really want these vehicles low emissions and high MPG, there's still a bunch of people, and I'm talking a big percentage of people, that want the uh, V8s. And that's why you're trying. It, it's just terrible for people because if the next generation doesn't have a V8 and people were like, well, I'll just buy a 2021. Well, now they had that semiconductor issue with the 2021, so there's none of them to buy either. So if you waited, 
it's tough out there to find one right now, but you could still find it. You just got to look around, use Auto Trader, use those internet search sites for cars. They're around there. You just might pay a premium for it. Before we leave this dealership and go up the street, this thing, I love this thing. I don't know why. I want a Land Cruiser. America, always flying. This thing's just too expensive. And I'm not saying in general, like the vehicle gives you a lot. It's built to last like 20 years. It's built to last longer than a regular vehicle. And that's what the Land Cruiser is all about. Heritage Edition, I dig it. This one, $90,000. You can't really see the sticker, but the big roof rack. We saw one at Lakewood last week. It was 87,000. I'm a fan. There were things I would have to do to this and the fact that I would have to do anything to a $93,000 vehicle kind of blows my mind. Okay, but that's it from this dealer. I'm gonna drive down to the end real quick and show you uh, all the Tacomas they have. So if you're between a full size and a mid size and you need a truck, definitely check out the Tacoma. Take a test drive, sit in the back seats, all that good stuff. Okay, so here are the Tacomas. These are just a few of the examples. There's a few more down this way, but I just came to the ones that are all together. Beautiful, got that cement, TRD Sport, love the grill, love the wheels on the TRD Sport. There you go. A couple Highlanders in the way here. And then you got a TRD off-road. This is the access cab. Can't fit much back there, but it's, you know, if you only have you and a passenger in there and a little bit of backseat storage, that's the way to go. Same thing again, access cab. Even when we were at Lakewood, this is an off-road. This is pretty. When we were at Lakewood, SR5, the last time we were there, we saw there was like 16 or 17 Tacomas. So again, I don't see a problem with any shortage with the Tacoma. They're starting to hit the lots pretty heavy. Maybe they figured out what was up with them if they were ever part of that issue. But like I said, if you're in the market for a midsize truck, this is the number one truck in the midsize market. So come check it out. Toyota Tacoma, a lot of options out there. Manual, automatic, whatever you want. Check them out. Okay, we are now at the Kia dealership. We were here last week. We saw all these different brands of truck and we saw that Tundra that was here that is not here anymore, but look what they have on the end now. You don't see these every day. This is an 07 to 13 long bed Tundra. It's got the TRD off-road wheels at the time, of the time I should say. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see any sticker here and of course it's in a terrible spot to take pictures of, the best I can here. It's got color keyed front bumper. Got one of those bug deflectors on it. No sticker on this side, but there's some heavy tints on it. Long bed. What do you think about the long bed tundras? Something you would buy. It's eight and eight point one foot. That is the bed. It doesn't have fog lights. So judging by the look of it, and this is a total guess, and I'll look online. This is going to be a tundra grade. I'm guessing an 08 or an 09. He probably added those TRD off-road wheels, but I like the color key to everything. And I love the 07 to 13 front bumpers and front ends, everything about it. Look good. Even the headlight design of the time, awesome. Hated the fact that they didn't come with fog lights unless you got up into the TRD off-road package. Or you can obviously get them separate. Now, if I had a long bed like this, I would definitely have the tow mirrors as well. But like I said, there is no sticker on this. I'm gonna have to go online and find what the price is for you but it's a good looking truck. So this color here I know automatically is slate metallic. Magnetic gray metallic took over for this color, but slate metallic on this one, beautiful color. I really wanted one of these at the time, uh, color wise. Eight and 8.1 foot bed, uh, not for me, but I know a lot of people out there uh, need the bed space when they're doing construction and whatnot, but beautiful truck, it's got Cooper tires. He added them after the fact. This truck, if he got the TRD off-road wheels came with the BF Goodrich rugged trails. It's got the bed step. Everything is color keyed as far as bumpers and stuff. So the window in the back um, doesn't slide, doesn't come down or anything, which is another sign this is a Tundra grade. So if you don't know what Tundra grade is, Tundra grade is pretty much the SR of the time period. But let me know what you think. Here's a good side shot. It's a long truck. Is this something you would need? Is this something you would use? Or do you just want a six and a half foot bed on a crew max? Let me know. But overall, beautiful truck. Love the wheels, love the slate metallic. Okay, here, Burdogs and Toyota and Horningen. 
This is the area where they usually keep all the tundras. I've already walked a lot. It seems like they have just one brand new and three used. This is one of the used. A TRD Pro. I don't know. It doesn't have no sticker or nothing on it. I don't know what it has. The mile, mileage and, and flat tire. I'm gonna walk to the front and show you the other one. Bird dog and Toyota. This is the only brand new one they have on the lot today. Which is a cement SR5 TSS off road. This is all they have on the lot that's brand new today. Twenty inch rims. And this one's a two wheel drive. The color match bumpers. The only one on the lot that's brand new. Two wheel drive. There's two tenders over there. I use a 2018 Tundra SR5 with Crew Max. You know. TSS offer as well. 2018 with 26,000 miles on it. Blacked out badging and everything. 4x4, this one is. Go loud, here by expressway. The 2017 Sequoia. Platinum Edition. Four wheel drive. There's another Tundra. Another TSS off road SR5 package. Crew Max. Two wheel drive. So the 2018. Don't know how many miles are on this one. But that's all we got today. Just one brand new. Tundra and three used. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is another Sunday dealership walk kind of day. Uh, today we dealt with some rain. I've been lucky the past few weeks to beat the rain. Not today. It's going to rain all day long. And uh, yeah, there's just no tundras around. So like I said in the video on Saturdays, I like to research around my area to find tundras to go film for you. But uh, there's just not any new ones coming in. And the ones that were at the dealerships are being sold, so there's nothing left. We're really just looking at used Tundras, and we're kind of going with that. Thankfully, every every time I make a video, every time I do a Sunday walk, we find something unique. So last week, we found that 1794 with a 6-inch lift on it, which was really cool. And today, we found the long bed um, 07-13 to 13 Tundra with the slate metallic paint, which isn't around anymore. And the old-school TRD off-road wheels, which are my absolute favorite Toyota wheel all time. I don't know why I just love those wheels so much, but it was cool to see that. That's not one you see every day, especially this area. We never see the eight foot bed tundras. Uh, they're just not popular up here. Uh, the most popular tundra up here is always the double cab. Before all this stuff started going on, it was always SR5 TRD off-road double cab. But, uh, um, you know, I'm still going to keep searching for you. We're going to find some tundras out there and uh, we're going to check these prices out and see, you know, the sales trends and everything. And hopefully we start getting some new tundras in the next few weeks. They're still going to be building 2021s. They're, this isn't like a turnover uh, retooling for the 2022 or anything. This is a semiconductor issue. Um, they're not building at full steam right now. So if anyone has knowledge of when that will go back to 100%, uh, when they will be building at full pace, please let us know in the comments below. But uh, although a short one, it was a good walk. We saw, you know, the two used ones we've seen a couple times. One we finally got a price on, which was cool. And that is the Magnetic Ray SR5 TRD Off-Road, the double cab. And then we saw that white one up on the ramp, which is the Crew Max TRD Off-Road, uh, both sweet trucks. So if you're in the market, Gateway Toyota and Tom's River, check them out online and see if you can make a deal on that white one. That's been there for a while now. And that gray one, about two weeks old. But then we went to the Kia dealership locally and saw that, uh, you know, old school 
eight foot bed tundra, which was awesome. But until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at tundra dude 34 tundra dude 34 gmail.com. Don't forget guys, if you do a dealership walk in your area, make sure you send me some video clips and we will put it on the end of these Sunday dealership walk videos. Uh, just make sure you tell me your name and what dealer and where the dealer is so we could give a shout out to them as well. But until next time, I thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon.